Okay, good morning, everyone. I have 8.30, so I'm going to get us started. Uh, my name's Ben Bobro. I'm the medical director for the Bureau of EMS and Trauma. It's great to see everyone uh, and for us all to be together today. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our second annual uh, Arizona EMS Resiliency, Wellness, uh, and Safety Summit. Last year, many of you were with us. We had a phenomenal turnout, and the output of last year was really to form a work group that many of you are here with us today, worked uh, diligently all year long, and this was one of our goals uh, this year, was to have the second summit, which was a little bit further down the line than the last summit, as, as you'll see. Um, so you all are amazingly dedicated uh, to helping other people all day long, all night, all year, 24-7. Um, it's, it's just unimaginable how prepared you are to help people. Um, helping yourselves, <coughs> maybe not so prepared. Maybe not nearly as much attention uh, placed on helping ourselves. And I truly believe, and I think many of us agree, that really our, one of our greatest opportunities to improve medical care throughout all, all aspects of medical care is really not just the next great drug or device or discovery, but really improving ourselves and, and being able to deliver the type of uh, uh, compassionate health care that we know that, that we can do. Um, So we're going to talk a little bit about this topic today, but you know, we, we, Arizona put out a national peer-reviewed publication that many of you saw, and it really got a lot of not just national but international uh, interest uh, when we found, we reported that uh, our EMTs through, throughout Arizona were at a significantly higher risk of death by suicide compared to the general population. Um, we also have a lot of data, mounting data, that not just suicide, but stress, burnout, dissatisfaction, um, and even substance abuse are all at record levels for our pre-hospital providers. This group, uh, many of the people on the work group came together and developed this program. Uh, it's really phenomenal. We've had, we've had amazing response from people actually all over the country about this. I'm pretty sure we're the only state that's actually done anything like this. Uh, and I'm really hopeful that other states will follow suit. Um, and this program, by the way, is really in evolution. It continues to evolve and to improve. and as we figure out and learn from each other how we can actually make ourselves uh, more, uh, more whole, uh, healthier, and, uh, and really more effective. Um, I, I want to acknowledge and thank uh, certainly these, all these organizations, Antonio Hernandez uh, from the Bureau of the, uh, Public Health Emergency Preparedness, they actually helped fund this, uh, us getting together, so thank you to them. All these organizations, uh, and I really want to give a shout out to uh, uh, my dear friend, Allison Welch. Everyone knows Allie super well, Allie. We've got to give her some applause. <laughs> Allie really, honestly, she single-handedly uh, put that website together all year long, and it's sensational. And she's, trust me, I've seen how incredibly hard she's worked at that and putting all this together. So phenomenal job, Allie. Thank you. I know this has been a, a, a really a labor of love for you. Um, and also Shelly, uh, Allie had, did have help. Uh, Shelly Bissell, uh, Kim Bame, Doug, is Doug in the room? Doug Kronk. Um, all these folks helped put all this together and worked very hard. And I, I want to give a special thanks to Chief Brewster and Nicole uh, and Peoria Fire. You've really done a phenomenal job helping sort of spearhead and lead the way for us to figure out what are the most effective ways to implement uh, these things in our, in our uh, EMS agency? So thank you, and you're gonna... <laughs> and I know you're gonna, you're gonna tell us a lot more about that uh, as we go on. Um, okay, housekeeping stuff. This, needless to say, you're not gonna go hungry today. Nobody's gonna go hungry. There's plenty of uh, good food and beverages. You, there's bathrooms out front. 
The fire exits are in the back. Um, where's Mark from uh, 10P? Mark, tell us where the AED is. It's right out that door of my truck. All right. <laughs> so I, I'm feeling pretty good. If, I, if it, today's my day to go down, I feel I'm in a good place with the rest of you. And I know you're going to do some really good CPR. Uh, and Allison has continuing education credits set up for everyone at the end of the day. So um, before you leave, you want to say anything about that? No, we'll distribute the, the certificates at um, the end of the meeting. Great. We have some sensational speakers today. I'm really excited about and grateful for all these people taking the time to come and share their insights with us and, and wisdom. A lot of the people you're going to hear today will talk about things that... Um, from maybe a little bit of a different perspective, a little bit of a different angle than you've heard them before. And um, I'm, I'm really, really appreciative for them uh, being here today. And I'll read a very brief, before each speaker, a super brief condensed bio, but you do have the full bios, Ellie. They're in packets or? They're with the agendas. The full, so you can read everything about them. Uh, and finally, this is our agenda. Um, it's a pretty tight agenda, so we're going to stay on time. Uh, so I do ask that you know if you have key uh, questions and comments, that we sort of hold those to the end, and we'll do our best to make some make, make some space for uh, questions and comments at the end of each uh, presentation. Uh, so with that, I'd like to introduce uh, our first speaker. And so Nicole, you can oh, Nicole's going to be my uh, IT transition specialist. Um, so our first speaker is a, a, a wonderful friend of mine, Dr. Carl Hammerschlag. Um, Carl is a master storyteller, uh, an internationally recognized author, physician, speaker, healer, and humanitarian clown. Uh, Carl is an expert in community-based health care uh, and specifically how to survive in this rapidly changing uh, health care and a rapidly changing culture. Uh, he's also a leading authority in the practical applications of psychoneuroimmunology. And Carl will explain what that is. I know it's a long term, uh, but it's a very, very um, interesting, evolving science of mind, body, spirit, medicine. For the last 25 years, Carl's been a humanitarian clown, joining Patch Adams, the world's most recognized humanitarian clown doctor, spreading clown joy and healing in disaster areas, refugee camps, and institutions all over the world. In his presentations, uh, Dr. Hammerschlag brings his gift of storytelling, a wealth of legends and unique insights which bridge the world of science, spirit, and culture. With poignancy and humor, he leads his audiences on a joyful journey that will stimulate and renew their creative potential. Um, and I just want to say as a personal thing, uh, I've had the honor of knowing Carl uh, for over 40 years. Uh, and uh, Carl's been a, a personal mentor to mine and really just a wonderful person. I'm, I'm so grateful that he's able to join us here today. So Dr. Hammerschlag.